Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another Skyblocks video. So over the last 24 hours, I've had so many of you reach out to me on Twitter, on the Discord, as well as in the comment section, asking for my opinion on the whole data wipe situation that's going on right now with Skyblocks. And to be completely honest, at first, I didn't really know anything about the situation that was going on, just mainly because I don't really involve myself in trading, nor do I ever really accept donations that often. So I don't really ever have a concern of being data wiped. But I did go ahead and enter the chat logs over on the Discord for the moderators, as well as for all of the Developers, and I kind of gathered a bunch of information just to really get down to what the situation is that's going on and to more or less give you my opinion on both parties because there is two separate individuals that are being affected by this. So I kind of want to go ahead and clear that all up just based off of the facts that I've gotten. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll know whether you're safe or not. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and waste no more time and get right into this video. Now, based off of my understanding and what I basically saw throughout all of the proof that I have, which I have screenshots as well that I'll be showing you in the background as I'm reading through all of this information but according to my understanding this entire situation started in another discord server that is related to skyblocks but not in any way associated i'm sure many of you are aware of what kind of servers i'm talking about it's basically reward servers where you invite a certain amount of people and in return you would be entered into a giveaway to win billions of coins within skyblocks now right off the start i do want to say that if you for some reason did enter this giveaway and you i don't know just randomly thought that this money came out of thin air you're absolutely insane I honestly thought it was 100% common knowledge that a lot of these servers that host these giveaways, they do their things illegally just simply because they have a really large demand that they have to get to. If I'm obviously going out of my way and telling you that if you invite 10 people, I will give you 5 billion coins, at some point you should really just sit down and kind of think about, wow. I spend so much time playing this game and I've never gotten even close to a billion coins. Where are these staff members getting these coins from? And honestly, the answer is extremely simple. And one of the moderators over at Skyblocks in the Discord, they went ahead and posted up the proof that they had. So as you can see in the background right now, Liam went ahead and said, the owner of one of these invite reward servers even admitted to knowing coins are duped, yet still circulated them into the economy. Where he then goes ahead and shows the proof that I'm gonna be showing you in the background. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and block out their name and their image simply because it's not my position to go ahead and send any hate to this person or really even get involved. I just kind of want to provide the proof to you guys so you have a general idea of how this all works. Now, the owner of this server went ahead and said, to be entirely honest with you, I don't dupe. I buy coins from sellers who dupe the coins. I know it's wrong, but I did it so my server could have the best possible invite rewards out there. You must admit and agree that wiping someone's data is a bit too extreme. Like, come on, reset their cash. Sure. But why would you reset hours of progress over something these kids had no clue of it is not fair now while i do 50 percent agree with this i don't at the same time just simply because you should have already known that if you're getting billions of coins for free they chances are weren't legit the reason that you're going out of your way to invite players into a server is simply because it is extremely hard for you to get anywhere even near a billion coins so you decided to go with an easier method kind of the same concept as if like you're standing outside of a bank robbery and the robber just runs out and hands you a hundred thousand dollars and you decide to walk to the store next door and just spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, the cops are looking for this money and the robber. Chances are, if they come into that store and they catch you spending that money that was robbed, you're probably going to go to jail. That probably isn't a very good comparison to a lot of you because I know some of you are going to be like, oh, Carbon, you can't compare real life to a video game. It's a very good comparison in my head. Now, the next question that I'm getting every 10 minutes is people telling me, Carbon, I have 150 mil. Am I going to get banned? Carbon, I have 500 mil am i gonna get banned carbon i'm so close to a billion coins will i get banned and honestly the simple answer to that is probably not i mean if you look in the background right now liam went ahead and said in the chat that if we don't have 100 percent proof we don't wipe my best guess is if you do have 300 million coins and the moderators decide to look into your account you better hope and pray that you're not in any of these reward servers because i'm pretty sure that they're going to be cross-referencing accounts but obviously aside from that i'm sure that they do have some sort of back-end system where they're able to keep track of all of these coins and what's going on so again the chances of you being banned just randomly out of thin air are very slim to nothing now i know the moment that i just said that a lot of you are instantly going to my comments and are like oh carbon you don't know what you're talking about dude my friend he got banned and he never duped and to that i have to say i actually believe you i'm going to be showing you another screenshot which i actually don't agree with at all and i don't exactly know how it got to this point 
to where this was said. But as you can see in the background, another thing that Liam went ahead and said was, if y'all get billions of coins for trading one item, inviting people to a Discord, or boosting one Discord, then it's safe to say the money is duped. Now, obviously, the inviting people to a Discord and boosting a Discord, completely understandable. They're getting a beneficial gain out of that. And I mean, honestly, it should just be red flags that that is probably dupe money. Now, as for the trading one item for billions of coins, honestly, I don't really feel like that's fair, just simply because chances are that that money is duped. But what about if little Billy decides to play the game and he's never played the game before? A billion coins really doesn't seem that far-fetched on Roblox because a lot of games, a billion coins, it's pretty easy to get. So little Billy went ahead and just joined the game. He has a random server that he joined into and some guy is telling him, hey, you just joined the game. Here's a billion coins. Now little Billy that has only been playing the game for about 10 minutes has a billion coins worth, but he has absolutely no idea that he is probably minutes away from being banned just simply because he accepted a donation from a random player. Now that obviously is only a one case scenario. Another person, which I will show the background, I'm not going to read it word for word, but another person did point out something really interesting and that's obviously YouTubers. A lot of you that join my games, you'll know that some of you really offer me a lot of money. Some of you offer me a lot of individual materials such as washers and blue gears and a bunch of different stuff. A lot of the times I actually decline it, which really makes me feel uncomfortable at some times because you're really going out of your way to kind of donate something to me, but I'm just kind of shutting it down. And honestly, unfortunately, the reason why I do it is because of these reasons. That way I don't get stuck in these predicaments. But there's YouTubers out there that have tens, if not hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And it's really hard for you to actually sit there and decline every single person. And truthfully, it would be unfortunate if for some reason, one of these YouTubers were donated billions of coins and they all of a sudden ended up banned. Now, of course, the argument here would be, well, if they are that much of a known YouTuber, then they're known. So technically speaking, why would a developer ban them? That just kind of seems a little unfair and it pretty much makes YouTubers immune. So even if a YouTuber was duping or hacking or whatever the situation may be, what you're basically saying is that you're willing to turn a cold shoulder on that. That just simply isn't fair. So the moral of this video is if you guys are sitting in a reward server and you're accepting free money for invites or for boosting a server, yes, chances are you will get data wiped. So my suggestion is go ahead and leave that server, play the game legitimate and enjoy the game. If you do indeed have hundreds of millions of coins and you know that you legitimately got them by either making an auto farm or by simply trading other people in small increments of money, I don't actually think that you're going to get data wiped at any time. As you can see in the background right now, this individual that was posted just about a thousand times, this is the kind of people that they are targeting because they are unfortunately messing up the economy. 28 thousand billion coins just seems a little ridiculous i actually wasn't looking at the image but i just opened it up right now and it's twenty thousand eight hundred billion. i don't I, I don't know where i got that first number from but yeah man this is just the opinion that i have on the whole situation again like i said at the very start of the video i went based off of just kind of reading so i may have missed a couple of things and there's just details that i'm completely missing on why exactly everybody's overreacting i also don't know 100 what happened in the reward server because i'm in none of those servers but if there's more details and if if you guys have an opinion to share for yourself please feel free to in the comments i will be replying to everyone and hopefully this does answer some of the questions for those of you that have been reaching out to me if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it i would really appreciate it it does help my content get out there and of course subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any of my videos that's going to go ahead and do it for this one like always i will see you guys in the next one take care and don't get data wiped